kidney cancer cases have more than doubled in the U.S. in the past 50 years. While nephrectomy, removal of the kidney, has been the standard for kidney cancer care, it is not ideal for many patients who may not be able to tolerate surgery. From the beginning, both my kidneys were affected. And they told me that I had to, uh, had to remove all both of my kidneys. And uh, sooner or later, you know, so uh, I felt like this procedure were they can do it, and I uh, I keep my kidney, and uh, because they if they took off my, both of my kidney or uh, over a length of time, I wind up on dialysis, and that's something I didn't want to do. Advances in imaging techniques have allowed radiologists to utilize a new solution, radiofrequency ablation, for patients who are not surgical candidates. This treatment uses computer-aided tomography to guide a needle-shaped electrode into the tumor. A radiofrequency current then passes through this electrode to heat the tumor tissue and eliminate it. On Wednesday, September 3rd at noon Eastern Time, you'll be able to see this treatment perform live from Wake Forest University Baptist Medical Center in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. One of the biggest benefits to patients receiving the radiofrequency ablation is a very rapid recovery. I couldn't even must tell that I had it, you know, like it's our patient situation. And uh, I come, come in in the morning and I was out that evening and I didn't have no pain or nothing whatsoever. OR Live makes it easy for you to learn more. Just click on the request information button on your webcast screen and open the door to informed medical care. Please join us on Wednesday, September 3rd at noon Eastern Time for a radio frequency ablation of a kidney tumor live from Wake Forest University Baptist Medical Center in Winston-Salem, North Carolina.